The acting Chief Constable of Police Scotland says he wasn't told his boss was to return to work in the midst of an investigation over his conduct. Scotland's acting Chief Constable said he was kept in the dark about plans to allow his boss an early return to work while complaints were investigated. In the event, the decision was reversed following an intervention by the Justice Secretary. Susan Deacon, the new chair of the Scottish Police Authority, said she backed his action. More now from our political editor, Brian Taylor. Scotland's Chief Constable Phil Gormley is still on special leave pending the investigation of complaints. But on November the 7th, the Scottish Police Authority, chaired then by Andrew Flanagan, decided he could return to work. The next day, the 8th, Phil Gormley was informed of that decision. However, one person who wasn't told was the acting Chief Constable, Ian Livingston. I heard nothing from Andrew Flanagan on the 7th. And on the morning of the 8th, in response to my request for an update, I, I was told um, that deliberations were ongoing. Now, it would appear that that wasn't the case, that there had to be a decision taken on the 7th. DCC Livingston said any return by the Chief needed planning, not least in handling those officers who had lodged the complaints in the first place. He voiced his frustration when he was asked if anyone else in Police Scotland knew about the planned return. No one would actually be extremely, extremely annoyed and disappointed if anybody else in the organisation had that awareness and I didn't, given the responsibilities and accountability that, that I was carrying and, and continue to carry. Susan Deacon, who now chairs the Scottish Police Authority, said action was needed at the SPA, not further reviews. No, I don't think there needs to be one single process of review. I think what there does need to be is a process of sustained and accelerated continuous improvement. Professor Deacon also backed the Justice Secretary, Michael Matheson, who challenged Phil Gormley's early return to work. Had I been in the Cabinet Secretary's shoes, and I have walked in these types of shoes in the past, um, then I would have asked questions about the process as to how that decision had been made. And personally, I think the Cabinet Secretary would have been failing in his duty had he not asked those, quest those questions. My Both insisted that operational policing in Scotland was in good shape. Brian Taylor, Reporting Scotland, Holyrood.